Hello and welcome back to another Cookie Tech video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you on how you can make your very own live synced weather system in Roblox. Now, that is a bit of a mouthful, but it essentially allows you to live sync the weather from real life into your Roblox game. So you can see right now it's raining and you can see it's quite cloudy in the sky. I'm sorry if it's a little bit laggy, that's just because it is quite hard to render these raindrops and to record at the same time. But if we have a look on the board, sorry for the lag, oh. You can see that has the time zone which is Europe, London, the conditions that are rain and overcast. The temperature is around 20.4 celsius, keep in mind you can set that to Fahrenheit if you want to and now you can see we also have cloudy skies throughout the day with rain and you can see we have the cloudy skies and that matches kinda close to what's outside and you can also see the rain because it is raining right now in London. Now I'm going to show you on how you can make this inside of your game, keep in mind this isn't intended to be anything enjoyable or anything to boost player experience it's fully for the purpose of realism so if you have a realistic game this will work perfectly for you okay so here we are on the cookie tech forms and you can see we're on this post i'll give you the link in the description down below for the link to this post and you can see it's quite wordy but we're just going to look on the right and we're going to click on v1.0 beta and now you can see it has our first initial release and then the download file keep in mind there may be more releases in the future so if you have to you can always check out the docs by clicking on the docs and then going to the link dedicated there uh, keep in mind this is license uh, cco 1.0 so that basically means you can distribute it you don't have to attribute me um, keep in mind you should just refer to the full text if you have any more questions so now i'm just going to head over to v1.0.0 beta and then I'm going to click on the download link and then eventually it will download to my downloads folder. Okay here we are inside of my downloads folder and I'm going to double click on the Roblox liveweather.rbxl file. Now this will open up a place inside of Roblox Studio and then we'll be configuring a few variables inside of our script. Okay, so here we are inside of the Roblox place file. Now, it may be a bit messy and a bit confusing. However, we're going to start off by putting each script in the dedicated directory. So as you can see, if we open up our explorer and open up our server script service, we have a folder in there called weather system. And you can see we have one, two, three, four, four models. And now we need to ungroup them each inside of their dedicated directory. Let's move replicated storage into replicated storage and then ungroup this model. You can do that by either pressing Ctrl U or Command U or just right clicking on the model and clicking on group. Then we have our server folder. So we're going to drag that into server script service and then we're going to ungroup and then we're going to ungroup it there. Then we're going to move the workspace model into workspace and then we're going to ungroup that too. And then finally we need to move starter player scripts into starter player and then make sure you put it in starter player scripts and not starter character scripts and then we're going to ungroup that. Then you can head over back to server script service and delete the weather system folder. I'm, I'm going to close these scripts up here as we don't need them however we will be configuring them in a bit. First we need to create an account with a service that will give us a API key which will then allow us to send requests to a specific server using that API key. So first you're going to have to open up your browser and you're going to have to go to a service called visualcrossing.com. Once you're there, we're going to have to create an account. So here I am on visualcrossing.com and to start off, I need to make an account. So you need to go to the sign up button in the top right and then we need to start off by making a free account. So I'm going to enter in Roblox cookie underscore devx at outlook.com. Make sure you use your own email. Then we're going to click on continue. Next, we're going to have to get the validation code. So this validation code has been sent to our email. I'm just going to check on my email. I'm refreshing the emails and I've got the code from visualcosting.com. Now I'm going to enter in that code. 
Your code will be different to mine, so make sure you enter your unique code. And then I'm going to continue. And now I need to put in a secure password. Make sure you confirm it and remember that you don't forget this password as you may need to use it in the future. Then I'm going to confirm my password. And then you need to make sure that you agree to the TOS. So make sure to read the TOS. However, I've already read it, so I'm going to agree with it. And then you need to continue. And then you must enter, please describe what you're hoping to achieve. I'm hoping to achieve a API that will allow me to sync the weather in real time via Roblox. Make sure you enter something unique. They just ask this, I think, for analytic reasons, but you should provide why you're, why you're using the API and what your use case is. And then I'm going to click on create account. Now it might take a second to load, creating account. Okay, sign in to start. So now I'm going to sign into my account. Roblox cookie underscore dev x at outlook.com. And then I'm going to use my secure password. And now I'm signed in. So the final step that we need to do is we need to head over to our account by clicking on the account button. And then you need to get your key. So make sure you don't share your key with anybody. Make sure that you keep it super secure. I'm going to be burning this key so you people can't use it afterwards, so don't even try. And then I'm going to click on the copy button. And now that's all we need to do in our web browser. So now we're going to head back to Roblox and you can see we have this file here. If you don't know where that file is, you just open up server inside of server script service. And now what we need to do is inside of API key, we're going to have to paste in our API key. So I'm going to put my cursor inside of these two speech marks and then I'm going to paste in my unique API key. Next, we have the location. So honestly, you can set this location to wherever you want. I think the other day I was testing this out with rain, so I put in this location somewhere in Scotland, but you can pick whichever location you want. For the sake of it, I'm going to pick London. However, you can get really specific and you can also get really broad. So you could, for example, say London, or you could say something super specific, such as a village or something like that. Next, you can see we have our data units. So you can see you can either pick US, UK or metric. Now you need to make sure that if you enter them, they are lowercase. So you can't have capitals. It must be US with no capitals, UK with no capitals or metrics with no capitals. Personally, I'm going to use UK. However, you may use US. And then really, that's essentially everything we need to do. However, we may need to do more configuration. So before we do anything more, I'm just going to head into the game and test it. Okay, so you can see we're now inside of our Roblox game, and you can see that it's, and you can see that's raining. If we have a look at our board, you can see the temperature is 20.3 Celsius as we set it, and you can also see it says cloudy skies throughout the day with rain. Now you can see these water drops are pretty cool. If you look at the ground, they disappear. And also, when we turn down our graphics, these, and when we turn down these graphics, these, and when we turn down these graphics, and when we turn down the graphics, and when we turn down the graphics, these water drops actually disappear. So this is really good if you also want your game to be performance friendly. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to set my graphics to the lowest. And you can see we don't get that many water drops. What is also very cool is these volumetric clouds, I think they're called. And they generate in these cool patterns. And they actually match how cloudy it is outside. Also, in the event that it's really, really sunny, the sun will also be bright in the game. And it has a few other cool features you can mess around with. Now, some of you may not want this data board. And that's actually quite understandable because it is pretty big it's pretty messy it's not something you'd want in a fine game it's something that's pretty big and bulky so it's actually really easy to remove this so first we just click on the stop button to head back into roblox studio we need to obviously delete the data board so just click on the data board and then delete it 
And then what we need to do is we need to head over to server script service and then click on server. Next what we need to do is we need to delete the update board function. So completely remove the update board function. And then we need to head over to line 33 and remove the line that fires that function. It may have moved as we've just deleted that function so we can always use the control F trick and press control F and then search for update board. There it is, it actually went down to line 23. And then let's just remove that entire line. And there we go. Now we don't have to use the data board. There's also a few slight things we can do. So as you can see, feel free to use an algorithm may be very ugly though. So here we have height calculation and this will essentially set how high the clouds are. Now I did write a little algorithm for this and it does work. However, it's super, super realistic and it may look a bit ugly. However, feel free to use it. If you do want to use it, you just have to go to the end of that comment. Copy that part of the comment. And then instead of having 536, replace it with the algorithm. However, I'm going to keep it at a nice 536, which gives it a nice effect. Then we also have shadow cast, which is down to personal preference. And shadow cast, it gives a shadow when the cloud is going over. Personally, I like to keep this off. However, you can turn this on if you want to. And that's essentially everything you want to configure. So I'm going to show you how it looks like with the algorithm. And then that should be everything. Keep in mind, more versions of this system may be coming out in the future. And I am going to be giving a link and I am going to be giving a link to where you can download and view the latest docs of this system. However, this is for the version 1.0.0 beta. And now I'm going to give it a final test. You can see the clouds are, I think they're actually quite similar. So maybe using the algorithm isn't too bad. Although when the skies are really high up, they do look quite ugly. So that's essentially everything you can configure. I'm expecting a lot more to come with this system. So thank you for tuning in. This is all for me. If you have any issues with scripting support or you have any bugs with anything else, feel free to head over to forums.thecookie.dev and create a brand new scripting support post. Thank you for tuning in. This is all for me and bye bye.